Good afternoon. It is Sunday, the 27th of June, 2021. And I don't know about you, Emma, but it's sunny here. What's the weather like where you are? We've had cloud and heavy rain for days. And yeah. it was really foggy this morning and it's still cloudy. I can't remember if it was Wednesday or Thursday that was a wet day for us. Um, but the roads were clear, so that was sort of the only important bit that I was worried about because it's been dry. I guess the land has uh, soaked up the rain. I uh, I had puppy cuddles yesterday. <gasps> How could you? Well, I went to see my friend Janet after I'd been too slimming. We're not discussing that, though. Okay, okay. Yeah, gloss over suppose, that bit. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Anyway, so after I'd done that, I went to Aldi to buy salad and cucumber and lettuce and bloody rabbit food and then called to see my friend Janet, who's uh, recovering from her breast cancer op and just finished her radiotherapy. Mm -hmm. um, and she's got a little Springer Spaniel puppy off some friends of ours uh, and wow. the puppy's called Lottie. Oh, she's absolutely adorable. She's so cute. Oh, and you got no pictures? Um, might have a picture. I do love a puppy. Doesn't everybody? Cats. Uh, I'm just going through my photographs and laughing at the number of pictures that in the last 24 to 48 hours that are Matt Hancock memes. <laughs> what does... <laughs> What does that tell you about this state of the world? <laughs> oh, it was quite funny though, apart from for his poor wife, bless her. Um, well, yeah. Um, hang on, can you see that? Oh, that is cute. It's like a chicken and a dog all rolled into one. It looks like a chicken that's ready to be cooked. I think this is a better one. Now that's better. Look she at the freckly belly. <laughs> Life is just so tough. I've fallen asleep right here because I can't be bothered to move a single inch. I oh, know. Oh. Another picture. Oh. oh, the pretty cat doesn't mind the puppy. Um, Felix has actually been pretty good with Lottie. Uh, Lottie, not so much. <laughs> right, okay. Because she's a puppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And everything's exciting and high speed up until she goes. Yeah. You know. Keep going until you just fall on the floor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I got that. Oh, Bless yeah, yeah. She was so excited while I was there yesterday and then was fagged out the rest of the day. <laughs> I remember when we um, got our guide dog puppy that we had for a year and uh phil and i were sitting in the front room watching the tv and she finally went on her bed and fell asleep and we were both sitting there and i'm going i am dying for a wee and he's like i'm gasping for a coffee and neither of us dared to move a muscle <laughs> we didn't want to wake her up again oh bless worse than having a baby isn't it uh it can be yeah yeah imagine having four of them and having to bottle feed them no yeah. That's why I've never bred doggy woggies. Yeah, not not doing that again. It's a not big ever. effort that. So is anybody knitting? Anybody crocheting? What you're working what? on? Guess what? 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 Look at that! Look, look. Let me swap screen. Oh, I see knitting. I am actually knitting a thing. What Can thing? Shall I tell you what I'm knitting? I will, shall I share my screen with you? Hang on, I'll share my screen and you can see what I am making. I am making this, can you see that? Neverland tunic. Yeah. Oh, you've gone for dark mode, have you? Oh yeah, I like it in dark mode. There you go, That's, that is what I shall be making. It's pretty, is that a double hem? yeah yeah so it's like one of them little fakey hem things but it's got um what you call it seed stitch which i'm not using i just went for plain garter 
Oh, okay. You didn't it did you didn't even go for twisted rib. No, 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 no. Just it's plain garter on there. Can you see? Garter. Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah, and then into the stocking stitch. I'm now doing short rows because it's a raglan that like I like the raglans, they suit me. So I think I'll just stick with what I know. Does look nice. I was thinking of getting one that you you mentioned the other week. Mm hmm Um the the tulip gan ganzi. Oh, well, Midori, Hirose, 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 yeah, yeah whatever. I, I was thinking about it, but um, I can't work it out. I think it must be in the round underneath the bottom bit, mustn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, like the you've got the tulipy bit at the top, and then it's got like a plain bottomy bit. Yeah. Do you know, do you know what I'm talking about? I do. I'm a little bit confused. Okay. I'm just looking at the pattern page. Can you see in the pictures? It looks, it says it's knitted flat. When you look at the tags and things, it says knitted flat. But to me, I can't see any seams. It's top down. Yeah. And it says it has seams. And I suspect that's because you have to knit the fronts and join them and then pick up the back shoulders or maybe you knit the back and the shoulders and then pick up but the fronts separately and then join them if you look at if you look at the bottom bit it looks like it's knitted in the round underneath you know the plain bit right yeah Does, is that right is that knitted in the round at the bottom yeah yeah i thought it was but i couldn't quite say 100 percent and I didn't want to buy it if it wasn't, because you know what I'm like. I can't be doing knitting stocking stitch flat. Oh, Helen's in the house. Afternoon, Helen. And she's still sweatering, not sweating. All right. Uh, yeah. And she's reached the bottom well of her beautiful sweater in all its glorious greens. Ooh. Yeah. Are you pleased with it, Helen? Are you loving We've how it's working updates. out? Yeah, have we, have we got, got new photos? yes so uh yeah so i have i haven't decided whether to buy that or not yet because i couldn't quite work it out i, I think i would just lose the world to live if i had to do the stocking stitch flat at the bottom no the lower body is worked in the round it's oh, that's the, right. the, the gan gansy it. bit at the top that's worked flat until you get to the armholes which is fine i can handle that um, the one thing about this that I'm making, obviously it's um, increasing along the seams and that for the, you know, like the arms, got the arms mm -hmm. here. But in the pattern, she's like knit to one stitch before the marker, knit front and back, slip marker, knit front and back. And to me, I don't know if you can see, it's quite m messy. I don't like it. I'm not keen on knit front and back increases mm. unless it's in garter. I don't so, like I don't like the bumps. Yeah, I just don't like it. So, but the thing is, I've gone so far. I don't want to change now because it'd look even more obvious. Yeah. So I'm just going to persevere with it. But if I was ever to make another one, I wouldn't be doing that. I like it where it has a stitch in the middle. And then it increases either side of the stitch. I think that's the yeah with with the M one L and M one R. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think that's neater. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is it, has everyone got a drink? I've got builder tea. I'll grab my mug in a moment. Helen says she won't know about the sweater until she washes it because it's meant to shrink lengthwise and stretch widthwise. It's the mm -hmm. Colour mark cashmere. Right. So that will be an exciting moment. Exciting, terrifying, nerve wracking, <laughs> sweaty, <laughs> clammy. <laughs> uh, yeah, all, all of the above. All of the above. It's like the first time you speak, isn't it? Tears. <laughs> I've been reading um, on Kindle Unlimited the a book about. The, is it a four book collection the steel brothers that i've quite yeah. enjoyed uh just a, a trigger warning um 
a character in the book in childhood is kidnapped and very violently sexually abused oh. during that kidnap so um avoid it like the plague if that's something that's likely to set you down a dark path yeah but it keeps popping up with the afterlife saga which i read all of the books in that saga yeah. you've mentioned that one and i think there's only book six or seven it's like the circle of hexibab or something like that it's a ridiculous name um and that's the only book in the entire series that i didn't enjoy because right, it's okay. a little bit like alice, alice through the looking glass there's it's weird and I was almost at the end of the book where I actually twigged what the hell was going on and oh. it started to make sense. But it matters so much for the ending right, that you okay. bat battle your way through that particular one. All the rest of the books were a breeze and I've gone on to the transfusion saga, which is sort of the the next stage of the story. Hmm. Uh, and that's quite good. And I like that the heroine, Kira, is a scouser. Hey, <laughs> and it, and it's very down, northern. Down, down, down. It's very, very, lower, very, lower laughs. very, very northern in its language. <laughs> oh, I love it. And she's very down to earth, and I quite like that. Oh, that's good. I finished reading um, Discworld book one again because it's been years since I read it. So I read that one, and I'm reading book two. But I've been distracted from reading by TV. Mm. Um, I'm watching Home Fires again. Have you ever seen it? No. It's based on the Jam Busters novel about the Women's Institute during World War Two, which I think is quite a clever title, Jam Busters. It is. I've never seen that. Um, I watched. Um, I don't know if it's the same Pride program that you watched about sort of LGBTQ history. It was on. I think it was on Disney Plus. Oh, no, I haven't watched that one yet. It's like a series with a couple of episodes in it. Yeah, it was really good. Very yeah. Fascinating. And then it recommended something called Howard, I think, which was about one of the music writers for all of hmm. Disney songs. And that was actually really interesting as well. So I, I have been watching a few Pride-based things this month because, obviously, hmm. it's the month to do it. Hmm. No, Pride... Pride the Pride I watched was a movie. It was a British movie. Um, I'll send you the link for it. I'm sure it's on Pri uh, Prime. Oh, um, no, thank you. And then I watched um, a movie called And the Band Played On. And that is the true story of um, when they were trying to find out about AIDS at the beginning when they didn't really understand it and they were discovering the link between people and where they were getting it from and everything and how how many hundreds of thousands of Americans had died before Ronald Reagan even mentioned the word AIDS you know because it just wasn't politically correct was it really no um, to be fair, really it, movie. it was just as bad here. It, it was, was. Every, every bit as prejudiced and horrible here. Um, I am ashamed but, to say because the hatred that we saw was just incredible. Awful. But that's a really good movie. I had to watch it on um, YouTube. The full movie is on YouTube um, because I couldn't find it anywhere else. I think it's from the 90s, but it's got so many famous people in it. It's got Matthew... Is it Matthew Modin or something? I oh, Matthew mix... Modin. Yeah, yeah. Married, married to the mob. Yeah. I kept um, mixing him up with Jeff Bridges. I kept thinking he looked a bit like Jeff Bridges. Does he? No. Uh, no, I don't think he does, but, you know. No. Um, and then um, who else is in it? Serene McKellen's in it. Richard Gere's in it. Okay. Um there's quite a few famous people. That is a good watch. It's based on the book. There was a book that came out by the same name. Um, so that was good. Um, trying to think what else. I've watched a few this month. Helen says she's bricking it, by the way. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I feel your pain, Helen. Um, I'd be putting it off. Yeah, let me know when you're doing it and I'll sit and have a whiskey with you. <laughs> <laughs> Mum will support. 
She <laughs> might need to do it on Zoom with someone. Yeah, might look like I've got the DTs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the shakes. Oh, bless. I just I can't imagine it. All that effort. I know. I did um, start trying to watch season two of Ragnarok on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Which is a modern kind of Thor, Loki and whatnot. And it's quite good. I enjoyed season one, but I've just been interrupted and not really in the mood. Right. Uh, so I'll save that for another day, I think. Um, what else have I watched? I watched League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I'm not keen. See, I love it. Bit of Sean. Creeps me out a little bit. Does it? Yeah. But then I am the person that doesn't like model villages and things because Land of the Giants used to give me nightmares. And I, I just can't be doing with a model village since then. What's that got to do with League of just Extraordinary that, Gentlemen? Just that I get freaked out by the strangest things, that's all. Oh, okay. I was thinking, yeah. So you won't like Hot Fuzz then? <laughs> Well, I do like Hot Fuzz. You know, you can't beat the Cornetto trilogy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fancy something from the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking of a different shop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. I do like the Cornetto trilogy. That that doesn't freak me. Out. I don't know what it is. Certain things do. I rewatched recently uh, Penny Dreadful. Oh no, I watched the first series of that and it was very good, but then I think we cancelled our subscription so I didn't get it anymore. Because oh, it was on Sky One or Sky Atlantic, wasn't it? Uh yeah, absolutely loved it. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. No, that's definitely freaky. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a new thing on Sky which is about people who've been touched by some kind of phenomenon during sort of victorian times and they're called the nevers as in should never have happened because they've got these extraordinary powers all right oh my husband was watching that yeah i've i've watched the full series but i need to go back and watch the last couple of episodes because i was a bit distracted when it was on and i, I kind of think i know where it went hmm. but it more it stopped rather than ended <laughs> Seeing, uh, hang on, yeah, <laughs> it's obviously it's set up for more series, but ah, uh, but you say that because, um, you know, like I said, I was watching Home Fires, I remember it vividly the first time watching it. There's two series, and the very last episode leaves you on a complete and utter cliffhanger because they were expecting series three. And they suddenly got cancelled. So nobody ever knows what happened to these people. Mm. I'm still waiting for series two of The Witcher, somewhat impatiently. My mm. Apparently, I was reading this morning the very good news. They're going to be making a spin-off series about baby group. Are they? Yeah. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is coming soon. Along with Deadpool 3. I love Deadpool. I know. <laughs> Deadpool is Bob Ross. He's just so grossly inappropriate all the time. Love him to bits. <laughs> so, yeah, I was reading all about that this morning. There was, there's 44, I believe it is, different um, superhero movies or TV series that are in the making, in mm -hmm. the planning. Very good. Yeah. So this is the place to come. I wasn't tempted to spend the money on watching Zack Snyder's cut of the um, Justice League. Did you have to pay extra? Yeah. Just rude. Well, yeah, and I just thought, no, I'm not not bothering with that. I rewatched Aquaman to see if it was awful as as awful as I thought it, it was the first time. Oh, God, it's just two hours of my life. I'll never get back. Um, and, and there's a number two coming as well. Are you going to be watching that? Um, well, Jason Momoa is in it, so probably. But I, I dare say I'll be mourning afterwards and just complaining <laughs> like mad about how awful it was. 
Yeah, but but when you were watching it, were you knitting on your jumper? Uh, I was. So it's not really two hours wasted, is it? Let's be honest. Possibly not. <laughs> oh, Helen says it was not very good. No, Aquaman for me. Um, I usually like the sort of CGI special effects and stuff, but some of the sea creatures that they made up, yeah, it was verging on the sort of toy unicorns for children thing. Verging was, on the ridiculous. It was all a bit twee, mm. and I, I have to say, I don't like Amber Heard, so that doesn't help. I don't like Amber Heard. Um, I just think something doesn't really kind of. Yeah, none of it adds up, and I don't know exactly. why. And my gut instinct is I just want to slap her face. Oh, uh, Helen says she thought Justice League wasn't good, but applies to Aquaman. I see, I enjoy Justice League, but I may be biased. Right. <laughs> not, well, not, not least because the thought of Batman and Ben Affleck as Batman in particular appeals um and henry cavill obviously and i love gal yeah. is it is it gal gadot gal gadot i don't know gal anyway as wonder woman she's lovely there's another wonder woman coming as well number three hang on sorry <laughs> i haven't seen wonder woman 1984 yet i haven't seen that one yet because didn't you say that they got the mu music wrong well, they're using New Order, but the song they picked wasn't actually released till 1986, just to be a mm -hmm. pedant. But having said that, it's New Order. So you can kind of forgive them anything on that basis. Yeah. And Chris Pine. <sighs> yeah. So, there you know. That. There is that. If I could just knit one of those. Well, yeah, yeah. With modifications. <laughs> Let's not go into that. <laughs> I was thinking a Star Trek uniform. Where were you going oh, with that, Miss? I was thinking about making his feet a little bit smaller so that it was oh, easy to get used to fit him. Okay, just so he slides under the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without the feet sticking out. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. So I was listening to my podcast earlier today and one of the things that they were asking was what was the naughtiest thing you did as a child or a young adult? And I was thinking, I must have led a really sheltered life. I think the naughtiest thing that I ever did, we used to have this little corner shop down the road and it had two halves and one was more of a convenience shop and was open all the time and the other side would shut quite early. So you'd go in when that one was shut and say to the guy, I desperately need a pen for school tomorrow. And he'd nip next door and get you a pen and you'd fill your pockets with penny sweets while he was gone. That's really naughty, isn't it? It is. Dreadful That's not it when you did. Or, or willing to admit, shall we say? Mm. Should we ask Helen? What was the naughtiest thing that Helen ever did? Yeah, I, th I think probably going out and forgetting what time it was and coming back late and stuff like that when I was younger. I was pretty good when I was younger. Uh, my parents. My teens, perhaps not so much. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Helen says the DC films just don't have the humour of the Marvel. No, they don't. They take themselves far too seriously, I think. And yeah. if you sort of think back to the George Clooney, um, what's his name, Chris O'Donnell, Batman. Oh, yeah. With Schwartz as the baddie. Yeah. Mr. Freeze. Um, that was just too camp for words. Not that I just, I, not that I was averse to Clooney in spandex or leather or any of the rest of it, but no, couldn't watch it again if you paid me. I just, I'm just not as DC as Marvel. DC I always pref always preferred Marvel. 
definitely Absolutely always and my favorites and again and it's because of the humor my favorites are definitely the guardians of the galaxy too i absolutely love guardians of the galaxy they are funny and they are quite sweet and the music why is gamora as well yeah <laughs> It's that in Infinity War or Endgame where he says that Dave Batista. I mean, it's just so funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a nut so, job. But those are definitely my favourite out of all the Marvel movies. I think they're brilliant. I've always loved Spider-Man. Yeah. Always had a soft spot for the friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man because he's got all the same problems that we kind of had as kids. You, it was very relatable. Mm-hmm. And I really, really enough to climb up the walls. Yeah. I could probably make my mother climb up the walls. Um, yeah. And, and I enjoyed Black Panther. And uh, I read a long time ago, The Old Guard. Oh, yeah. The Old Guard was a good movie in the end, wasn't it? It was a beautiful movie. And that romance yeah. between Nikki and Joe was just scrumptious, really They're gonna sweet. They're going to do um, another Black Panther movie based on, like, the the Rwanda thingy, whatever it's called. Wakanda. Uh, that's the one, yeah. Um, and um, more about the women. Yeah. So that'll be good. It will be good. And, you know, if they set it in Rwanda as well, that'd be even better. <laughs> Instead of Wakanda. <laughs> well, you know, Rwanda's beautiful. I'm sure it's utterly stunning. <laughs> Whether it's the safest place to film or not is a moot point. But... Well, yeah, we won't go there. We won't go yeah, there. one, two, three, four, five, six. It's time for an increase, Ro. Oh, what do you want to show us before you do it? Um, hang on. It's kind of, where am I now? Oh, wow. How, how much further are you going to go? Mm, I need to measure that. Probably about another four inches on the body, maybe a bit longer. Where do you want it to sit? Long. Long, 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 long. Yeah, I don't want it riding up. No. Cool. Lower hip, probably. Right. Sort of skim over the belly. Sort of where your where your um where where your legs join you. Yeah. Your sort of hips. You know, you know what I mean. I just can't find my words today. The yeah, hiding. Because because she's had shortbread. She's effectively drugged. I'm drugged, yeah. <laughs> and I do blame the children for not eating them. Sorry. Yeah, Jake's, I make brownies and they just, every time I go in the kitchen, they're going, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want me. <sighs> thinking, no, I don't. I just don't. Do we need to do a meme with you and the brownie? Possibly. Just find any picture of Cookie Monster and that that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> we're not, we're not oh, discussing how slimming went this week. No, don't discuss slimming, no. no Put that out in mind. Fresh just, start. Yeah, um, I did buy a couple of patterns this week. Oh, can you share? Um, possibly. Yeah. We like to see what other people are buying. Yeah, I so I've got the Chow Bella Cami, which is Sari Nordland. Oh, that's pretty. Nice little detail. And it's fully charted for all sizes. That is lovely. What weight yarn's that? It is DK. Oh, perfect. Uh, and at the same time, she released the Irene top or Irene top. I don't know. Irene. 
Uh, anyway, I liked this sort of shaping over the bust. You like Almost. that, hello, we are here? Well, sometimes you just need to say that, don't you? Well, you know, there's no harm. That is a beautiful photograph. That is lovely, yeah. I like that. I think I'd make it a bit longer for me, though. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to add length, but I do like that shaping. And again, it's charted for all sizes. And I like the fact that you can wear it with or without something underneath. Yeah, it's not so open that um, you feel you're sort of sloshing the girls around for everyone to look exactly. at. Exactly, exactly. Which I just Ooh, find... What's that Mysterium T there? Oh, that one. that one. When did you get that one? I think it, it's a free one. That's nice, I like that. Oh, very, very simple lace. Ah. I would have to tighten that neck because that would yeah. drive me utterly bananas that it was sort of slopping around at the back. Yeah. Um, but, you know, for a free pattern and a basic shape, can't go wrong, can you? Um, it's fingering weight yarn, three and a half mil needles. So you, you could just make a size smaller and use DK. Yeah. Depending on your swatch, you know. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, I thought it was pretty. Yeah. There's been some um quite pretty new releases. I quite liked the shaping of this one with its little peplum. That is nice. Oh, she didn't weave her ends in. I love that. I can't think of anyone who would do that. Do we do we know do we know anyone that, like that? I love the fact that she's actually got that on her second photo and she's just left it there for the world to see. It's brilliant. Yeah. Because that's so how we all wear our tops, isn't it? Twelve stitches uh to four inches with five mil. Or like well, with larger needles, I think the smallest needle is five mil, the largest is eight mil. So. Oh wow, my kind of pattern. So it's obviously been knitted as sort of like super bulky. Yeah. I've been some pretty new releases. Yeah. A few hats. A wee bunny. Socks. Yeah, quite a few socks lately, actually. Mm. I do love knitting socks, though. You weird person. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so easy, aren't they? Uh, no. You just, you know, a nice vanilla sock. It's the million stitches thing. It, uh, yeah, but it, if you're sitting in front of the telly with nowhere to go, it's fine. I so actually did con consider I, making some and giving them to a homeless shelter. No, I would much rather make myself a garment because I can make a garment in the time it takes me to knit a pair of socks. could possibly even make two garments in the time it would take me to knit two pairs of or even one pair of fingering weight socks. Mm. So just stick to a bigger yarn. It'd be fine. Just stick to sweaters and tops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know you love to knit jumpers and stuff, don't you? Well, I like to wear them. When it gives me the flexibility of having the fit that I want. Well, there you go then. You can't any get any suggested modifications for knitted Christopher Pine? Do yell. <laughs> Emma <laughs> obviously wants him to have smaller feet, but quite tall as well. He needs to be tall. Tall. Okay. Yeah. Chris Pine isn't my favourite out of them all, though. Got to think about Cat Carl Urban. I tell you what, I did watch the other week the. The Outpost, have you seen it advertised on Amazon? Yes. Liam and it's got Mason. all Rainbow Bloom in it. 
Oh, has it? Honestly, no, no. He's a mile away from Legolas. He was so disappointing. He had really? no hair. He completely shaved all his hair off. Ew. And he looked, well, he didn't look like a young man anymore. No tights or anything? No. No pointy ears. Yeah, hashtag gutted. I know, I know, I certainly was. How oh, disappointing. Yeah. I know, I was like, oh, I'll watch that a bit of Orlando. Yay. <laughs> no. So have you watched all of Clarkson's Farm? I haven't watched any of it yet because I keep meaning to ask Callum if he'll watch it with me. Oh, Helen makes a valid point, though, that you don't need as much storage space for socks. That's true. It is true. But it's still not happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm I was not... thinking, you know, how much would a homeless shelter be really pleased with me? If I made some and gave them to them. I think the only chance of that happening is if someone suddenly finds and gifts me a circular sock knitting machine. Oh, so that, that I can crank yeah. out socks in a couple of hours and then just do afterthought toes and afterthought heels. Yeah. That I could do. That you could do. We should be, you know knitting for victory and all the rest of it <laughs> yeah i got bored with crochet it's too difficult i had to keep concentrating on what i was doing well only till you know what you're doing yeah but it was going to be a long time um jackie gave me a blanket to finish that she'd started which is helen shrimpton um, right God, which one was it? Um, hmm. Library. Rosslyn. It's absolutely beautiful. And she's done the hardest bits. Why didn't she want to finish it then? But it's this one because she just doesn't doesn't want to. That is beautiful. That's the, like the one that you showed us the other week. Um, that was Sophie's Universe that I showed you the other week, uh, I think. But yeah, I only picked this up the other day. So um, how far has she got? Um, about there. Can you see my curse yeah. now? Mm -hmm. just, just after that sort of thick, creamy band. Right. Thereabouts. Okay. Or it might be that second creamy band, I don't know. Or maybe the third one. It's a creamy band. But either one way, you're coming towards the edge, aren't com you? Coming towards getting it to a square. And I think yeah. one, once it's a square, it'll be getting a border. <laughs> and right. Fin and finished, and that'll be as big as it gets. I yeah. mean, it's absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. What colours did she do it in? Hang on. I'll go and grab it if you want. Right, can you see that? No, I've still got the thingy on. Oh, yeah. Well, you won't see that because... It's not the camera. <laughs> you see that now? Oh, uh, yeah. That's nice colours. Beautiful, aren't they? That is lovely. That looks lovely and thick. It is. It's, uh, it's, I think it's Starcraft Special Double Knit. Um, so, yeah, once I'd figured out what round I was on, which I think is 44, Yeah. Uh, I was kind of good to go. I just had to join it and weave a couple of ends in on the back uh, yeah. and then I'll start the, the next section and the sort of squaring off of the corners. But you do have to count your stitches every single round and 
meticulously do so on something like that see that's the sort of thing you should have been watching while uh, sorry working on while you were watching jason momoa yeah possibly you don't want to be watching anything decent if you're having to count it all the time do you i know i'm trying to think what else i've been watching prodigal son oh yeah i haven't got that because that's on sky as well uh, michael sheen is absolutely i like michael sheen astounding horrible scary charming utterly sweet and then terrifying all in five minutes he's, sounds he's, about right because he's a serial killer in it yeah that's what they you are just, aren't they? you just you don't know where you are with him from one second to the next and he's always 10 steps ahead of everybody because he's always the smartest man in the room. Psychopath. Yeah. I watched that Piers Morgan psychopath. Oh, was, that, um, was that any good? Yeah, it was. it's only like 45 minutes. He goes into prison to talk to this young lad who um, stabbed his little sister to death when he was 13. And I think she was four or something. And he did it because um, he was annoyed with his mother and he thought, what could I do that would hurt her the most? I know, I'll take both of her children away from her. Um, wow. Yeah, so he did that and um, Piers Morgan was interviewing him and he is, he's, he's been, you know, diagnosed as being a psychopath. It was, it was very, very good, really. Um, mm yeah but it was quite chilling as well well she's just got no empathy has he no none at all horrible no. yeah uh, I, st I started watching temple uh, Matt's wrong um he sets up this underground clinic to care for his wife who everyone thinks is dead but has this incurable disease oh. and, and funds it from helping criminals survive sort of things that they shouldn't because he's a surgeon basically um i've got so many episodes in and i don't know if i'm going to watch anymore right kind of like that mm. doesn't sound like my sort of thing i watched yeah. the latest series of called the midwife that's my sort of thing love a bit called the midwife <laughs> Oh, just poke me in the eyes with a nitty needle. <laughs> Sorry, I've watched every single episode of it so far and I love it. And I, I... I've watched one and Jake said, I will summarise for you because his stepmother loves it. Right, and I okay. said, right, so what is it? And he said, oh my goodness, I'm having a baby and I shouldn't be. Or I'm having a baby and it's a miracle because I didn't think I could have any. Oh gosh. There's sister so and so. She'll help us. Yeah. Yeah, but he forgot the one about. Oh, the baby might die. Oh, it hasn't died. Oh, the baby should die because I don't want it. Oh, but I do want it. But I don't want it. But they won't let me keep it. But they will let me keep it. Mm. Oh, get the nurse. Drama. Happy ending. No, no, no. He, he missed out. I tell you, he missed out the, oops, I'm having a baby and I shouldn't be having a baby because my husband hasn't been home for months and oops, it's popped out and it's black and me and my husband are both white. Wow. That was one. That was one. Yeah, I think he fairly summarised every episode that anyone's ever told yeah. me about in terms of the plot. Yeah, so, that's no, the whole point. The whole no. point is that you know what's going to happen. I mean, they do they do touch on things like they've done thalidomide, they've done backstreet abortions, they've done the pill coming in. You know, they do do things like that. I'm, I'm sure it's excellent. FGM. They did FGM. You know, I'm sure it's excellent. Still not watching it. No, yeah, it's fine. I like it. Oh. It is. Do you know one of those like trashy? It's like it's like watching a trashy Mills and Boom sort of thing, isn't it? Like you know you shouldn't be watching it and you know you shouldn't enjoy it, but you just can't watch you can't help yourself watching another one. Well, I'll I'll give you I'll, I'll give you an example at the opposite end of the spectrum where somebody said, 
Oh, did you like Bridgerton? Yeah. Oh, yeah, watch yeah. 365 days. And I said, why? Oh, it's kind of like a, a modern Mills and Boone, but, you know, a bit more. And essentially this billionaire kidnaps a Polish girl because he's been, he must have seen her at some point and he's had portraits of her hanging in his home and he's been searching the world for her and he steals her away from her life and mm. tells her that she has to stay a year with him during which time he'll, he'll make her fall in love with him and then proceeds to essentially sort of 50 shades of grey her with varying levels of abuse and all the rest of it. Mm. Um, and I got about a third of the way through that before I was thinking, I need to stab this guy in the face. This is really what I need to do now. Or, in fact, anywhere else that I can reach, because he's just seriously naffing me off now. So, and, and there's been a lot of criticism na internationally about the, the plot that basically he forces her and is essentially taking her without consent, and that in the end she falls in love with him. Um, yeah you know sort of the the me too Stop thing home. so yeah and i just thought oh god and all the time i'm watching it i'm thinking why would she even fall for this guy because apart from the fact that he's got washboard abs and a decent sort of physique it's got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp <laughs> it's, like, it's amazing how picky you get when you don't stand a chance isn't it well yeah 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 um but no not not paid no. not not even with no 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 i'd have jumped out the window of the villa i think i i can't i can't see the parallel between that and Bridgerton. well i don't and i'm thinking given how vocal i am about women's rights and equality and respect why, why would anybody think that i would deem this appropriate to what <laughs> so, mm. so i'm going to have to have a serious conversation with this person and think did you recommend it because there's actual shagging in it or did you recommend it because you thought that i would find it a fascinating subject because i'm really not sure what you were thinking <laughs> what the actual <sighs> yeah hello so, yeah not bizarre. you're not having your dinner yet arthur's come I told you he would. Because he's hungry, starving. Well, he hasn't been fed all week, obviously. No. It's time for his weekly beating. Yeah. Uh, Coco's in her bed recovering from a, a mid afternoon snack. Yeah, yeah. She's gone straight to her eyeballs. Well, the CPU gets overloaded and she just has to lie down because there isn't enough energy for coherent thought. Sounds kind of, kind of, it's how I feel after Christmas dinner. Uh, so I don't know what else I'm going to do after I finish my emerald. I'm thinking that I need to do a design because I've got the three sort of warmish colours of yarn. So I'm thinking sort of stripe or colour work summery top. And then I am going to start on that one of Alara's. Remember that mosaic bod uh, top? Which one's this? You'll have to remind us. Oh, yeah. As um, my mum would say, I've been asleep. Mm, Can't remember that. I've been asleep. God, what's it called? I don't know. I don't really know. And I always want to call it Alara because that's kind of a username. And, and what makes me laugh is that... It, it's it's a Rella seat and it's called Linuti. I'm I was going to share it with you now, um, yeah. but whenever it, this is a generational thing, when I hear the name Seaton, I think Jesse Seaton. And when the boat comes in, <laughs> all right, okay. I just think of Seaton Carew, where that guy tried to fake his own death. Oh God, yeah, what, what yeah. a what a plonker. So Linuti is going to be my, my yeah. next sort of. Um, Patterny type knit that's not a design. Cool. So, what's yeah. She for the main body, is she like used two different colours and stranded them, or is she used? I don't know if it's a gradient. Main colour can be 
Gradient speckled solid or slightly variegated as long as the good contrast with the contrast colour that you use for the bodice. It's a lovely t-shirt. I think it's ever so pretty and lots yeah. of people have used stripes and gradients and that looks like some drops fable actually doesn't it? It does. Um, Blue and white. Hobby Twister, Sweet Olive, is that one? That's nice. I like those colours. Very pretty. Very pretty colours. Um, so Mondial Primavera, so that's it. that is a gradient for ply cotton. Mm, yeah. What shall you use? I do not know. Oh. It, I haven't actually planned it because it's four ply. Right. I'll have to have a look at what I've got. Oh, the excitement. Yeah. Will well, you be purchasing any yarn? <laughs> I might have to. I don't know. Oh, um, wow. I don't think I've bought any all year. I certainly haven't bought any in a while. Um, no, this year I haven't done any. No, I've not, not really bothered in ages. Um, the Oatmeal Starcraft Special Aaron, mm. the oatmeal, oatmeal Tweedy one. I needed some extra of that for my sweater and bought enough to buy to do a cardigan and something else. Right. Just because, you know, free shipping. Why you and, it? Yeah, yeah. And might as well. Yeah. Um, but no, I haven't bought. I haven't been in to see Lovely Pat at our local sort of wool shop in the market either. Um, oh. In absolute yonks because I've not been into town. It's just chaotically busy. <laughs> and it's yeah. such. Christy and I took a collective breath when I met her on Wednesday to get the last bits from Grandad's flat and we locked the door and handed in the key. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You kind of feel like, oh, okay, that's that's done now. That's All finished, sort of. yeah. Yeah, so I've been driving down round with a, a frame. Yeah. Sort of a that you can put round a toilet or a commode or something for lifting yourself up or right. pushing yourself up. Um, and a folding commode because I've not got them into the garage yet. So they're in the back of the car at the minute. So. Well, you know, sometimes it's handy to have that sort of thing in the car because you just don't know, do you? Well, I'm thinking if I get caught short on the way yeah. to or from the shops, I can just stop on the side of the road. Exactly, and... exactly. Yeah. It's just like when your kids are little and you carry their potty around with them. Well, yeah, it comes with its own bucket and everything and a lid. See? And there's a lid. So, you know, no sloshing about in the car. I mean, everybody should have one in their car, really, shouldn't they? Well, I saw Denise at Parish Council and she said, how long have you had that bloody commode? And I said, well, I only picked it up yesterday. Why Why didn't you tell me? And I said, did you tell me you needed one? Oh, well, so-and-so has just had a hip replacement and I had to climb over everything to get to the back of the garage to get to the one that we have for emergencies, if anyone in the village is ill. And mm. I said, well, I told you I was empty in the flat. <laughs> And I told you what was in it. So you yeah. must have had an inkling that at some point I would have a commode. <laughs> well, I don't need it now. But well, what's Probably the wasn't expecting you to be carrying it around with you everywhere you go, though. I know, and I just said, well, what's the fuss then? <laughs> so, <laughs> explain to me the problem. <laughs> it's like when uh, you used to go away on bank holidays and you, you were stuck in the traffic jams and you'd see everyone with their caravans. And you'd be so jealous. You know, not only can they just make themselves a cup of tea if they really want one, but they can go for a wee as well. Well, as long as the vehicle's not moving. Well, exactly. That's what I mean in the traffic jams when you just sat there not going anywhere. Like Victor Meldry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Would you like a suggy sweet? Yeah. He was on um, GMB. I think it was earlier this year. Or it might have been last year when we were in lockdown, and um, oh, what's his name? Something Khan. 
Ramil Khan or something like that asked him if he was going to um, make another series of One Foot in the Grave and reprise the role of Victor Meldrow because he loved it so much and he, he really wants him to make another one. And he went, you do know he died, don't you? And he was like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You're so much of a fan, you didn't even know that. Well, exactly. Yeah. Adil Ray, that's his name. It was in the Khans. I never ever watched that. Um, I've seen a few episodes, come to the end of my ball now, so I'll have to do Oh, it. what are you going to do? Well, I'll pick it up again shortly and do my change of ball in a bit. I've got my... Ball me shortly. Yeah. Let's beat Shirley for a change. Uh, Shirley. <laughs> Shirley or shortly. Oh, so Helen says she gave up on Temple as well. Yeah, um, I kind of wasn't feeling any huge empathy or likability about any of the characters. Nobody oh, time to give up then. That and didn't have the kind of feels for it. I just and yeah, I've been watching on Sky. Is it nine one one Lone Star about the firehouse in Texas with Rob Lowe? <laughs> oh, I like Rob Lowe. Yeah, and it, and it's kind of kind of cute to see him in something like that. Yeah. Um, and I've been watching that, and I'm really kind of engaged with that. But yeah, yeah you've either stuff. got to like somebody very much in it or you've got to really really want to know what's going on what's happening mm. and if neither's happening just give it up definitely i know it's mad isn't it yeah can you hear this heavy breathing going on yeah i mean i i hope it's the dog is it you arthur I didn't like to ask if Phil was home. <laughs> Not you, had yet. Him, you had him gaffer taped in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the cupboard. Well, there's an advert on the telly, isn't there, where she goes into the cupboard for something and there's someone <laughs> in there. Well, no, and you just think, okay, then. <laughs> She's obviously got a much bigger kitchen than I have, that's all I can say. I haven't got a single cupboard that I could fit somebody in. I've got, you know, my, my pantry that I could shove them in, but there's no door on it, so he's going to get out. Yeah. That's not going to help, is it? He didn't seem very hygienic to me. He looked a bit sweaty. Well, yeah, you don't know how long he's been in there. Maybe he really needed a poo, and that was why he's coming out in a cold sweat. Uh, I don't and, and about the social distancing sort of element yeah. of it. Uh, mm. So, no. No, it didn't, didn't, didn't appeal to me at all, whatever it was. <laughs> I don't, don't even know what they were advertising, whether it was a series or something else. I just I see think, it and I just mentally switch off. I think what they're advertising is one of the, um, you know, streaming services because they're trying to say to you, you know, are you going to choose drama or are you going to choose real life? Because they've got drama and real life merged together, haven't they? But she's just, um, I think she's just going about making a cup of tea which is your real life, but there's somebody locked up in the cupboard, which is your drama element. Depending on how you make your tea, really. Well, actually, when I left my last job, um, I used to share a desk with a guy. We had to, you know, like do the wipe down thingy because he'd have it in the morning and then I'd come in. And anyway, <laughs> one day he was in the kitchen. <laughs> Don't spit that everywhere. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, one day he was making a cup of tea, right? And I tell you, right, when I tell you the way that he made his cup of tea, you will you will be mortified. I just stared at him and I was like, you think you know someone? He got his mug, he poured in the milk, then he poured in the boiling water. Then he tried to put the kettle in the fridge for some bizarre reason, but we'll gloss over that. Then he dipped his tea bag in the watery, milky concoction. I mean, that's just wrong, isn't it? It's just seriously weird. 
and he says that he's British. I mean, no British person I know of would make their tea like that. No. No. I think he's an American in disguise. Could be. Does he microwave his cheese on toast? No, he doesn't put it in the microwave. Eh? The pinky pong or pongty ping or whichever it is. Popty ping. Popty ping, is that it? <laughs> that was close. Yeah, you were very close. Very, very close. close. No banana, but very no close. No banana. And do and you remember the word for ironing? Smoothio. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd even remember that in English. <laughs> what is it? How do you do it? Yeah, that's something other people do, darling. Yeah. <laughs> these, yeah hands, I used to do it. these hands are just not made for ironing. I used to do it when the kids were at school and had proper shirts. I did it for years and when we moved to the house at Nipswaite one day, uh, mum and dad were out and she phoned and she said, oh, are you doing the iron? And I said, I'm doing it now. I said, but this iron, I've filled it up with water about 20 times and I've only done about half an hour of ironing. It's running really hot. Hmm. But it's going through this water like nobody's business. And she said, oh, well, we'll see how you get on with it. And I, I just thought, okay, fine. So I was quite careful. Um, mm. I said, I'll finish doing dad's shirts because he got through two shirts a day and got yeah. those hung up. And I said, I'll just unplug it and leave it to cool. But I said, I think there's something wrong with it. And then my dad came home and started faffing about and he went, I think it might be the electric. So he found his mate, this electrician come out and he went, oh, there's a an, an earth fault or something. On, right. on a circuit and he said yeah. god you weren't ironing were you and i said yeah i've done all them shirts and he went oh jesus wept if you'd have touched that hot plate you'd have electrocuted yourself <gasps> and i had no idea and is that why you don't iron anymore yeah i'm gonna go with that yeah because that, um, that uh, as, 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 as a concept i'm going to go with that gave me ptsd yeah, yeah. And, and that i just break out in a cold sweat now at the thought of ironing you but, can't even be in the room with an iron anymore since then can you no can't look at one no, or anything no, else without no. getting clammy feeling Not sick even an ironing board yeah nightmares the whole works yeah but i mean yeah. the, the truth would be i'm just too bone idle and it's hard work and i hate it but you know i should be traumatized i probably secretly am you are traumatized i know you are yeah yeah i'm, yeah. I'm sure sure everyone else is <laughs> uh, the the thought of that but yeah i just i don't trust them mm. We should go back to the old-fashioned ones that you used to like put on the cooker to warm them up. At least they weren't going to electrocute you. No, that's true. But I've got quite a fancy ironing station now that I got from Amazon. One of those that adjusts automatically to the type of fabric you never have to faff about with the temperature or anything. That's a very expensive ornament that you've bought it is ornamental and it's way clever and the once a month that i use it once a month <laughs> well, like in, once a year in my house in, including weddings funerals job interviews bar mitzvahs yeah, yeah yeah that sort of thing yeah. christenings yeah yeah anything that requires a shirt or the blocking of knitwear it's yeah. about the only other time oh. it sees the light of day. Blocking of knitwear is perfectly acceptable. Yeah, if I didn't need to do that, I wouldn't have an iron. Yeah, there's no need for stuff, really. Take take anything else you need doing down the dry cleaners. They'll do it for you. Well, there's only really Jake that needs his stuff ironed. I just, like, I'm careful about how I dry mine. Does and... he not do his own? No. <gasps> shocking no no not at all so i, I would i'll take you back uh, what's his name the taskmaster fella the big the, tall one yeah the idiot former teacher greg greg Some, davies him 
he was talking about um who is he telling i think you know somebody like brad pitt or someone equally suave yeah about going home it's, it's a graham norton clip it's available on youtube but he, going home to stay with his mum because he said well you know i was only 33 at the time so she did my laundry and then i took my laundry home and went to school and he said that the school i worked in had an excellent deaf unit and they had special microphones and it connected with the hearing aids on this sort of audio loop for the children so that they could all hear exactly what was going on yeah. um and that there were there were you know all sorts of visual displays and things like that to help with their learning and he said the the deaf kids in this school did brilliantly yeah but he said i'd had a bit much i'd had a curry and a lot of beer and went to the toilet and he says oh, i plonked myself on the toilet and then and look down and yeah he said i've by mistake my mum's knickers have got mixed up with my underpants and i'm sat with my mum's knickers on and, it, and he, he says oh, i'll let you know you you loser or insert expletives of choice at this point everyone else on the sofa is dying laughing as he's telling this story and then he said and then the curry kicked in and the beer kicked in yeah and he, he said i'm sat there going like oh my god the smell i can't just stop just stop and there's all this obviously the noise of the evacuation of the hostages shall we phrase it that way and then he kind of cleans himself up and pulls his mum's pants back on and goes back into the classroom and then makes eye contact with one of the deaf kids who's just going like because <laughs> he's heard everything over the audio loop <laughs> he hasn't switched the microphone off and I, honestly <laughs> it's just howling i couldn't have i couldn't have looked at that person in the face ever again <laughs> i mean i i thought i got myself into some stupid situations but that that's better than anything i've ever done <laughs> that's awful that is the stuff of nightmares that's i've got to resign with immediate effect you need a new yeah. teacher sorry <laughs> yeah i just thought that was really funny oh dear uh, yeah. Well, not quite as not quite as funny or as embarrassing, but you're talking about deaf kids reminded me that on my one of my last days in my last job, I learned how to use the brailler to write my name. Look, oh. that, says, that says Emma Sadler in Braille. How but cool is that? I'll take your word for it. It's like proper raised up. It's like a weird typing machine. It was fab. Well, I suppose your closing song for today should be Can You Feel It? Can you feel it? That one? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, because you can. Well, you could if you wanted. Or, or if you're going to let them even. You, you need informed consent, people. <laughs> Don't just get your, get your hands on the letters without asking. <laughs> we okay. get into all sorts of trouble these days over anything can't you yeah definitely right so are we going to count the count you down for can you yeah feel it? do it ready are you ready yeah two dolls see you Five, next time four three two one